Today you are having a coal pour. You have created new jobs. You are beginning to uh, claw back the ground that was lost. We must begin to talk positively about our industry. It's a good industry. It does make things happen, but we never say so. If we want to improve the industry, we have a duty to ensure that there is ethical leadership, ethical leadership, moral of leadership. See, if leadership is tainted, the industry sinks with that leadership. If the industry is led by ethical people who know the difference between right and wrong, who know that it is not about us individually, it's about me, it's about the good, it's about the other people, both in the sector and in the government and everywhere. I can tell you that the image of the industry will change only when we are consistent about not stealing the resources of society will our effort be respected. So the question of ethical leadership is so important for this industry, both in our part as government and on the part of leadership of the industry. We must be able to stand up straight and people look at us uh, and, 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 and try to look for anything. They must not be able to dig that out of us because we're opening up straight, upright, we're doing what is right. We were then told that it would be impossible to reduce the capital to construct Ilekulu to less than 2.5 or 3 billion. We spent many hours with many clever and innovative thinkers and ultimately managed to reduce the project cost to some 1.7 billion. We also managed to produce a new feasibility which demonstrated robust attractive returns and e economics. We were then told that it would be very difficult to raise the 1.7 billion rand of project funding for a new mining project in South Africa. The first time that we approached the capital markets in February of 2017, we failed. We could not raise the capital required. However, we continued to believe in Elokulu. We went right back to the market in April 2017 this time the market wanted to give us four times more money than what the project required. We also found supportive banking partners willing to invest in the South African mining industry in the form of Rand Merchant Bank, Nedbank and APSA. When we wanted to apply for the requisite permitting, we were told that the South African mining environment and permitting regulated by the Department of Mineral Resources and the Department of Environmental Affairs was slow, onerous, and that permitting for projects in South Africa would take years. We disregarded the naysayers. We worked with the departments concerned, and we were very impressed with all of the officials with their dedication and their professionalism. We received all of our critical permitting within six months, which is exceptional. When it came to construction, we were told that to build a plant of this magnitude, which will process one million tons of tailings a month, would take years. Ultimately, the construction amounted to, to, uh, to more than 2.5 million man hours. We have used more than 2,000 tons of steel, poured 40,000 cubic meters of concrete, and moved over 6 million cubic meters of earth in constructing Elakulu. We broke ground only in September 2017. It will therefore be less than one year from when we commenced construction to full commissioning. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we see before us today, Elakulu, is testament to the art of the possible. It demonstrates what can be achieved when business, government, regulators, capital providers, and communities work together. It proves that as a South African mining industry, we can deliver new, long life, low cost mining projects to the benefit of all of our stakeholders. Nowhere else in Africa would we have been able to deliver a project of this scale within this time frame. During construction, Elekulu provided more than 1,700 employment opportunities. We previously indicated that when producing, Elekulu would provide some 250 new permanent jobs. I'm today pleased to announce that the number of new jobs has now risen to almost 400 permanent employees on the Elekulu site. During construction, more than 50 local and community, community businesses were delivering goods and services to the project. 
Most of Elekulu's electrical instrumentation contracting was done by a local contractor. We will continue to develop new community businesses to provide services to Elekulu and Evander. Our business incubator currently houses more than 10 new business, uh, community businesses with a total of more than 120 employees.